Uh, you already have a project that you're working on for a very long time. And you might be thinking if I can use the GitHub code spaces with this existing GitHub repo. And the answer is yes. For that, you come to the existing GitHub code space. I have a sample code base that is available. I click on code and there are three places, local code spaces and copilot. So you click on code spaces and it says you don't have a code space for this specific repository. And you can create by clicking on this button and it is creating the code spaces for this specific GitHub repo based on the main branch. Because it was opening up by saying it here on branch main and main was the default branch. So if I come here, as you can see, GitHub code spaces is booting up. And the code base that I had in GitHub repo, we can take a look at this structure, is right here. It's already available here. And GitHub code spaces is working right now. It's activating the extension and it has given the name called Nitrate Spoon. And the readme file has opened up by default. It's running the npm install. It understood based on the code base that it has the package or JSON and it's using NPM. It should, it should uh, be running NPM install. So it's running that. It will take a few minutes. In the terminal, you can see you're already inside the terminal, so you can do LS. But keep in mind that this is not on your machine. This is in GitHub code spaces. And you can see that by looking at slash workspaces. So GitHub code spaces took your repository from github.com and created an IDE, an environment for you. And it took the entire code base and dumped it under the slash workspaces, which is why you have access to the terminal and all these things. Everything is running. What you need to do is you need to run npm run dev because this is the project based on read.js. So if I run npm run dev, you can see it has started the app on port 5173 and all of a sudden we see a notification here. It says your application is running on port 5173 is available and see all forwarded ports. As I click here, it takes us to the port mapping here and our app is now running and it's in the private visibility, which means only I can look at it. So if I click on this button, we can see that the app output, which is the app on the main run will be available here. So the app is running fine. If I go ahead and click back, you can see that this is still in the private mode and, and that's pretty much about it. So you have successfully opened up a GitHub code spaces for your existing GitHub repo right from github.com and you did not have to check out, check in to your local VS code or your favorite IDE. Now, the other thing is how do you find out what code spaces are for a specific GitHub repo? So if I come back to the repo, and I click on code. And if I let me just refresh because that code spaces should be here. So as you can see, if I click on code spaces, the literate spoon, which is on this tab, is associated to this GitHub code space. And it's running based on the main branch and it says you have not made any changes. And it's active, which means it's currently running, which means for the time you're running it, you are using the resources from GitHub, which means they will be charged up to an extent. And depending upon what your plan is, whether free or pro, you may be charged for the extra usage outside of the permitted boundary. So if I go back here, I can see that this code space is available here. Now there is one more place where you can see that if I click on the menu item and I hit on code spaces, I will see that literate spoon is here and it's available based on this GitHub repo. No changes have been made. It also tells me what kind of machine is being used by GitHub Codespace to start this project. It's using a two core machine with eight GB RAM and 32 gig of this stripe. And it tells me how much of that space I'm using at the moment. I also have another GitHub um, Codespace, which is not created from any of my existing repo, which is why you see this icon. So literally when you start your project with your existing GitHub repo, there are two places to find out which code space is associated to which of your uh, GitHub repository.